Hello, 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 OMG. Welcome back to my channel. I am so, so happy that you are here. Thank you so, so much for clicking on this video and watching it. I appreciate it so, so much. It's Jody Dunn and I'm coming at you today with something a little bit different than I normally do, a kind of little mini Dollar General haul because I had some coupons that I wanted to go ahead and use and there are some great food deals this week at Dollar General. So I thought I would share this with you because you can do them for the five off 25 if you don't have the coupons I had. For any y'all Dollar General experts, I do have a question, so please stick around if you know this. Now, my disclaimer is I'm fairly new at shopping at Dollar General, so I am by no means an expert. However, I had a debacle of a transaction today, a total debacle. It like totally did not work out. And although that can be frustrating when, when that happens, what I do when that happens is I got to figure it out. Like I have to figure out why it didn't work well. You know, I love this quote. If you've been watching me, none of us lack resources. We lack resourcefulness. So I sat down and I figured out the store made a mistake and I made a mistake and I figured out how to fix that mistake in the future. So I wanna share it with you because I bring you my mistakes, right? Because we all make them, we are all human, couponing does not go perfect every single time. Now, before like we get into that, I do want to say like if you are really wanting to get started at Dollar General or if you already shop at Dollar General and maybe you're looking for a couple couponers that are freaking amazing at Dollar General, I'm talking amazing. I do want to shout them out because I have learned so much from them. And then today I learned a whole bunch of stuff from myself <laughs> from figuring out my mistake. Oh, real quick. I'll give you. Oh, wrong way. There he is. I'm totally blocking him. But there's the sleepy boy. He's taking his afternoon siesta and I'm blocking him. Sorry, but you got to see Gus. All right. Tink TV. She's freaking amazing at Dollar General. I highly recommend you go follow her. I have given a shout out before to Coupon with Star. Oh my gosh, she is totally amazing at Dollar General. Learned so much from her. Short mama couponing. I freaking love that woman. She's so funny. I laugh every time I watch one of her videos. Um, I wrote them down because I didn't want to forget. Oh, Meek's Coupon Life. She's amazing at everything. All of these ladies shop at all the other stores as well but I've really gotten the most from them out of Dollar General shopping because I just really didn't know what I was doing um and cute or saving with Myra love her as well I've given her a shout out on my channel as well so if you're looking for what I oh budget boss queen I can't forget budget boss queen omg if you like my energy, you're going to love Budget Boss Queen and Tink TV. She has great energy as well. All right, so if you're looking for some ladies that like I consider experts at Dollar General, those are the ones I personally love and follow. I'm sure there's a ton more. Those are just the ones that I love to watch. So, all right, I had an amazing two transactions planned out. I'm going to take you in the store with me and show you a few things. I couldn't find the dang razors. The dang razors that give you overage. OMG. I've never gotten overage at Dollar General before. Dang it. I saw it happening. I saw it happening. I didn't catch it quick enough. Darn it. All right. There we go. That wasn't that wasn't the epic fall that we had before. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> um, that always makes me lose my train of thought. There was something I wanted to tell you. If you're new and you just found me, I'm so, so happy that you are here. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Would you please drop new right down there and say hello to me because I do want to welcome you and I want to thank you so, so much for watching. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for all the thumbs up, for all of the comments, for watching my videos. I just appreciate you so, so much. I would love to hear how you are doing right down there. Let me know and I'm sending you hugs. 
All right, real quick, if you are a Dollar General expert, I have this coupon. I have this coupon that I got last weekend. There was an offer in my Dollar General account that if you purchased a $25 iTunes gift card, you got this $4 coupon. And I was going to purchase an iTunes gift card anyways for my girls. And I thought, what a better time to do it where I can get something back from it. And so I did it and the coupon showed up in my app. And I really want to stack it with the five off 25 for Saturday. <laughs> but I don't know if it'll work. So I'm super curious if you've ever had a digital coupon like this, because if you've ever done the five off 25 and the five off 30 gain, those do stack. And the gain coupon does state that you can't use it with any other offer. So I'm guessing it's a glitch that it stacks. This coupon states that you can't use it with any two off, three off, four off, or five off, or something like that. So I don't know if it'll stack, but it expires tomorrow. So I got to use it up. I had two of them because I did one on my account and one on my husband's account because obviously I have two young children at the home. I have an older daughter as well, but I bought both of them iTunes gift cards. So I did go ahead and use up my husband's today on the food deal to kind of do like a five off 25, but I just had the four off coupon. So if you know, let me know. I'm probably going to test it out anyways, but if somebody has already tried it and they know for sure it doesn't work, then I'd rather not have the higher out of pocket. If that, it'll probably take my $4 off and not my $5 if it won't work together. I know I would have to spend instead of 25, I would have to spend 29. So anyways, all right, let's get into these transactions and I'll show you where the store screwed up and where I screwed up and basically how I learned something about how Dollar General couponing works. And I hope that these scenarios possibly help you for the five off 25 tomorrow. So as always, if you get some value out of this video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up. I so, so appreciate that. It really, truly helps the channel out. And um, if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing. I hope you are having a fabulous day. Let's get into the store and then let's go over these transactions. All right, first thing I am searching for is the Ding Razors. I want to get overage for the first time at the Dollar General. So I'm looking, I'm looking all over for them and I can't find them. I don't think I have ever seen these razors in my store. And I just, I don't know, I, they probably always sell out quick. And then I saw this one down there sitting. I was like, oh, this has got to be it. It's totally not it. I found the rack where they are and, you know, they're gone. So no overage for me on this transaction. Bummer. All right. So we're going to move on to this awesome deal that you can get on Bayer products. So I'm going to pick up some Alka-Seltzer, which are $4.50. My plan was to pick up two of them and find a dollar item. Unfortunately, my store does not have any of those dollar items. I'm shopping at a very small store, but this would make for a fantastic deal using the three off of $10 when you spend on Bayer products. And I have two paper coupons for Alka-Seltzer for $2 off each that came out in our, in our 510 Smart Source. All right, moving on, I'm going to take advantage of this snuggle and all deal. We got this awesome digital $4 off when you buy two. You can mix and match and pick up the all or the scent shakers or the snuggle fabric softener. So I'm going to do a liquid fabric softener and the scent shakers. After that $4 coupon, it'll leave me paying $4 for both or just $2 each. And next, I want to pick up some Glade candles because I love candles. We have an awesome $1.50 digital coupon off of the two pack of candles that are priced at $5. So I'm going to grab this one. And after the digital coupon, that'll lead me to pay $3.50 for both candles. And here I am back over in the razor section. This coupon expires Saturday, so I'm just gonna take advantage of it and pick up my free Bic razors. 
All right, so as I said, I had to switch my transaction up because they didn't have that dollar bear item I was looking for. So I did pick up the Aleve, which are $6.25 on sale right now. So this is everything I have for my transaction. So all of these products totaled me $25.75. So this could be a deal you could do for the five off 25 if you wanted to. I'm gonna use that $4 digital coupon off the All In Snuggle, the $2 off the Bic, the $1.50 off the Glade Candles, the $2 digital off the Aleve, the $2 paper coupon off of the Alka-Seltzer. And then I'm also gonna use that $3 off digital coupon, um, dollar general digital coupon when you spend 10 on Bayer products. And I have a five off when you spend 501 that I earned almost two weeks ago from the PNG deal. So after all of my coupons come off and that $5 coupon comes off, I should be left to pay $6.25. All right, I went to another store. Guess what I'm searching for? Hi. The Ding Razors. I'm searching for the razors. I want to get the Ding Overage OMG. All right, so here we are. Here we are at the razors. I'm looking. I, I didn't even put my camera up there. Oh my gosh, this is terrible camera work here. There they are. And look at, they say price cut to $3, but they don't even have any. I could have got overage of a dollar. What? I looked all over, but they didn't have them in this store. If you can find them, it would make your food deal even that much better. So that's what we're doing right now. We're doing a food deal. But I wanted to show you. I, they may have just gotten a truck today, but look at all the paper products they have. I didn't take advantage of it this time because I'm not in desperate need, so I wanted to save them for somebody that needed them. But they had lots of toilet paper name brand. They even had paper towel. And look what I found. Oh my gosh, Lysol, I did pick one up. <laughs> it wasn't part of my plan, but when I find stuff like this, I am gonna grab it. So it's two bucks, so I grabbed it. They even had some of their brand disinfectant wipes. I didn't grab those, but Pretty cool to see these products in the store. All right, first deal I wanted to take advantage of is the Coke deal, which are on sale three for $10. And we have an awesome $2 off digital coupon. I mean, three for $8, that's way cheaper than Walmart. That's cheaper than my grocery store. That's even cheaper than Walgreens right now that has them on sale three for $9.99. So I wanted to take advantage of this as part of my food and drink deal, we'll call it. All right, now I'm gonna take advantage of the awesome Dollar General coupon we got for $2 off when you spend six on Quaker products. So I'm gonna grab one of these instant oatmeals that are $2. My one daughter loves oatmeal. And then I'm gonna look for some Captain Crunch cereal, which is part of that two off six Quaker deal. We also have a $1 off when you buy two select cereals it's on a bunch of different brand names but captain crunch is included so i was hoping to stack the two off six and the one off two cereal together to make a fabulous deal so those are the two that i picked up And of course, when I was in the store, I tested it to see if they would stack. So I'm gonna scan both of these cereals and see if the coupons come up to stack them together. And look at, they do. So I was super excited because this will really make for a fantastic deal, but always scan your products in the store to make sure that they are attaching to the coupons that you have. And last, I really wanted to grab some Twizzlers, some pull and peel. I'm sorry, I don't know what I did with my camera here, but they are $1.50 each. And when you buy two, you get one free, but my store is totally out of them. All right, this is what transaction two looks like. Although I did grab a box or a thing of Pringles on my way out that I didn't get a picture of. So all of these products right here total me $20.50. 
I'm gonna use the $2 off digital coupon for the Coke products. I'm gonna use the $2 off when you spend six on Quaker products. The $1 off when you buy two Captain Crunch cereals. No coupons for the Lysol and no coupon for the Pringles, but I am also going to use that $4 off coupon when you spend 401 that I earned from purchasing an iTunes gift card. So that should bring my total down to paying $11.25 for all of these products. All right, here is my little mini dollar general haul. Really, truly excited about the food deals this week. I'm definitely going to do another one tomorrow on Saturday because it is more challenging to coupon for food. This transaction right here went perfect other than the fact that they didn't have the products that I wanted, the razor for the overage and the other um, dollar Bayer items. So I had to switch up my transaction. If they would have had what I wanted, my out of pocket on this one would have been like $4 or $4.50, like a great transaction for a five off 25 if they have the products. This did not go well <laughs> at all. And again, it was the store made a mistake and I made a mistake. So I'm gonna go over that with you. So I showed you everything in the store. Let's take a look at my receipt. There is my Snuggle scent Shakers for $4 and my Snuggle Fabric Softener for $4. There is the Aleve for $6.25. There is the Bic Razors for two. And I didn't even show you. There's my $4 digital that came off for the Snuggle. Um, there is my $2 digital coupon that came off for the Aleve. There is the $2 digital that came off for the Bic Razors. My Glade Candles are $5. The $1.50 digital came off right there. The Alka-Seltzer was $4.50. The $2 paper coupon scanned no problem. I do have issues sometimes with paper coupon at Dollar General. This one scanned for no problem. And then the store discount you see under each item is that $5 off when you spend $5.01 on any products that I earned from P&G. My subtotal was $6.25. So I saved $19.50. I think that is pretty fantastic considering this by itself costs $6.25. So I just got all the rest of this stuff for free. I think that is so dang amazing. Now, again, if I would have had been able to pick up the razor and get the 70 cent overage, and I spent like $11 in um, the medicine products where I was going to spend 10 It would have even been cheaper. But fantastic deal if you do have those coupon inserts from our 510 Smart Source. All right, let's move on to the food deal. That did not go well at all. <laughs> I paid way more than I should have paid. And one of it was the cashier's error and one of it was my error. So I will go over that with you. The food deals, if you can find the Twizzlers, if that's something that you like, plus the Quaker products. Oh, I forgot, hang on. All right, I had already put the oatmeal away, but there it is. The Quaker products are an awesome deal this week. There's so many different options to choose from. You can get pancake mix, you can get syrup, you can get um, just the regular oats, whatever, um, along with if you like pop and drink pop, um, the Twizzlers, there's some also, also some other deals. So I'm gonna do another food deal tomorrow because there's so many options for the five off 25 and cross my fingers that my store that I usually visit on Saturday has the items that I want. So let's take a look at the receipt and then I will go over with you where the errors happened. So there's my Captain Crunch. They actually say they are on sale two for five, two for $5. They did ring up for 285. However, this 35 cent store discount is accounting for that. So it did, they are in fact $2.85. Now you will see no digital coupons coming off here because they were all Dollar General coupons. So they just show up as a store discount versus an actual digital coupon. Here's a Coke for $5.25 and a Diet Coke for $5.25. And you will see there is not a third, but I did purchase three. I do only have two out here, but you saw that I purchased three. The other one is has already been opened because that's what the hub drinks. The hubs drinks and he is out of Coke, so he already opened it. These have already been opened too. <laughs> My girls like were dying to get into those. So she forgot to ring up one of my Cokes, which totally threw my totals off. I'm so bummed. And I didn't notice it till after I got home. There is my other Captain Crunch cereal. 
and there is my Quaker oatmeal cereal. There is my Lysol and there are the Pringles. So I saw those on the way out and the girls had actually asked me if I would grab some more of those. I got um, the Wavy Pringles for free from an Ibotta rebate when I um, did my haul for Ibotta, which speaking of that real quick, I will link that video in the description box because I did announce two gift card winners in that video and they have not claimed them. I know it's only been a day, but make sure you check out that video if you did enter my gift card giveaway because I want to be able to send you, I have a $25 gift card and a $20 gift card. So check out that video. You may have been the winner. So what I paid was $16.90. Now, one thing that you do have to take in account is, and I know not all states are like this, but Michigan is, I have a bottle deposit on all of my pop. So I paid $1.20, so that's $2.40 extra that you wouldn't pay if you didn't have a bottle deposit. But I do, and oh my gosh, you can't even return bottles right now, so we have about $50 worth of bottles <laughs> and big garbage bags. I can't wait till they open that back up. So here's what happened. I figured it out, and I, I wish I could somehow figure out how to calculate the store discounts because I did use the $4 off when you spend $4.01. So here is the $0.50 cent discount on Captain Crunch. On each one of those is the dollar digital coupon coming off, the dollar general digital coupon coming off. The $0.43 cent discount is my $4 coupon coming off when I spend 401. And then the 35 cent digital or store discount is bringing that down to 250 each. So my two off of six did not come off. And I was quite confused as to why, because even I spent $7 in these three products. So even after the dollar coupon came off, I'm still paying $6. I should have qualified for that two off six. But then I realized because of my $4 coupon being split up, I actually only paid like $5.15. And that's why my two off six did not come off. So if you are doing this on a five off 25 and you're wanting to stack those two coupons, you have to account for the store discount. I wish I could figure out how the store discount is calculated on each item. I did a whole bunch of math on this already because I love math. And this one is like 15% of it. The pop was like 22% of it. So I don't know exactly how to figure that. But if I would have bought another oatmeal, then my $2 off of six would have come off. So I hope that helps if you've been wondering at all because I had no clue until it happened to me. Then her not ringing up that third pop, what a bummer. Because... You think it might be cool that I got one for free, but it's not because I paid more. <laughs> they are actually on promotion for, um, that's what the 75 cent discount is. They are on promotion two for nine or three for 10. So obviously I would have rather had the three for 10 and my digital coupon of $2 off of three did not come off because she only rung up two. So I should have paid $11.50 for all of these plus 240 in bottle deposit. But as you can see, I paid a lot more than that. So this transaction cost me way more than it should have because of the mistake she made. And it cost me $2 more because of the mistake I made in not picking up an actual $6 after discounts on the Captain Crunch. But for Saturday, if you are looking for a great food deal, picking up the pop, picking up the um, $6 in Quaker products. There's also some General Mills cereals that we have Dollar General coupons for. The Twizzlers are a great deal, so you can get some snacks for the kids. And there's just so many different options. So look out on Saturday for tomorrow for um, my five off 25 Dollar General haul, and I will be doing a food deal in it as well. So I hope that this helps at least one of you if you've been like, why are my coupons not coming off when they're dollar general coupons? I hope that answered because it like I literally sat down at the kitchen table and went over my receipt and mathed it out. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's why. 
So you're five off 25. If you bought what I did, two of these cereals and an oatmeal, your five off 25 is gonna take you below that $6 spend mark if you are also using that dollar coupon that I used. And so the two off six will not come off. All right, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. As always, if you get some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Bye.